हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस लेक्चर इज फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ बायोलॉजी दिस इज द फोर्थ एंड लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज टेशू ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई सजेस्ट यू टू प्लीज जस्ट गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स और प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स अप टू द पार्ट थर्ड this one is the last one so here we will discuss about the epithelial tissue different types so the topics that we are going to cover in this are number 1 is epithelial tissue here we will discuss about the types their functions their properties where it was located where it was what is the main various and main function of that next one is squamous epithelial tissue basically they are the uh, different types of epithelial tissue number one is squamous cuboidal columnar pseudostratified ciliated glandular sensory after the sensory some questions are there related to this epithelial tissue and their types so hopefully that you are enjoying this no so first one is epithelial tissue the first thing that is what is epithelial epithelial is a word which are basically derived from the greek word which is composed of two two word that is ep and thelial ep means above and thelial means to grow it means this type of tissue is always grow upon an other tissue so this is the definition of the epithelial tissue this tissue will gr always grow above an another tissue okay so <coughs> it has different properties number 1 cells are present in to end without any intercellular space intercellular space the yani the space in between the two cells is called intercellular space okay first point is that second point is that it always rest upon a non cellular a membrane sheet or a gelatinous sheet which is called as basement membrane okay basement membrane is basically made up of polysaccharides basically they are made up of polysaccharides on that epithelial tissue will present okay <coughs> there is no any uh, direct blood supply to this tissue it means epithelial tissue it is uh, non nervous in nature it means no any nervous tissue is also present in that it means no sensation is present in that no any stimulus will be present okay they are uh, they are different in shape just like flattened cuboidal columnar cilia are present in that so they are called ciliated they are it means epithelial tissue are categorized into two ways basically the first one is a simple epithelial tissue it means only a single layer is present on the basement membrane and second one is compound it means more than one layer are present on above the basement membrane okay it cover all the organs and line cavity hollow organ just like stomach okay it means where the hollow organ is suppose that is mouth liver stomach intestine it means in every organs it was present okay function are so many now come to the first function it cover all the organs from outside example epidermis of his skin and forming the line of hollow organs second function it prevents it prevents the underlying cells it means under the cells from drying injuries and chemical effect okay epidermis of a skin also protect the body from infection okay there are so many different types is there suppose that in you see that uh, sixth one is glandular epithelial tissue glandular it means it was secreted gland 
it was present on the gland just, just like a thyroid gland okay parathyroid gland okay this type of a liver pancreas these are the glands okay you see the uh, seventh one this sensory sensory means sensation it means a stimulus so it give information to the brain through the stimulus it also help in the formation of gametes that is germinal epithelial tissue gametes it means testis and ovary testis as a male gamete and female gamete okay sometime there are some part of tissue which help to absorb and excrete the substance okay so these are some points and the function of the epithelial tissue now here you see that epithelial tissue are basically divided into nine categories first thing that i told you till fifth it means ciliated epithelial tissue okay it is divided by the structure and from 6th to 9th it is divided on the basis of their function so the first one that is squamous epithelial tissue second one is cuboidal third one is columnar next one is serostratified next one is ciliated then glandular sensory germinal and pigmented so these are the basically nine type but in ncrt book only the four type is there so in that nine we have only learned the four four or five that is okay in that now the first one is squamous epithelial tissue squamous it is also called pament epithelium p a v e m e n t pament epithelium its cells are flattened regularly arrange just like a uh, uh, tiles on a floor okay the cells are very thin and polygonal in shape okay in center in center it was little bit bulgy okay because due to the presence of nucleus okay the skin epithelial cells are arranged in many layers okay to wear and tears since they are also called as stratified squamous epithelium stratified it means layer by layer the locations most important thing the location you have to learn the location location is that it is present in the body cavity blood vessels cheeks okay body cavity blood vessels and cheeks etc functions that i already told you okay it help to protect the underlying cells from injuries germs and also protect from drying okay so these are the squamous epithelial some points and their function and location next one is cuboidal as it is named cuboidal it means cube shape it means their shape is their cell shape is cube shape okay cube like they are polygonal when seen in the surface the location the location is very clear you have to learn very carefully nephron of the kidney the unit of kidney is called nephron nephron help to filter nitrogenous waste product and the formation of urine in class 10 you have to know a detail about the nephron gonads gonads means testis and ovary sweat gland it means the the gland which secretes sweat okay it is protective in nature it is protective the main function is protection protection all the components okay these are some function of the cuboidal epithelium next one is columnar epithelium columnar as it is name is cells is elongated and column like okay its cells is column like or pillar like you see that uh, diagram is there is pillar like okay basically the cells are in right angle okay the cells are polygonal in a surface view 
okay the location location is if no know the location the elementary canal elementary canal it mean the digestive canal you have to learn in there. the sensory organ sensory organ are so many function is that it is protective secretory absorptive and sensory in function so these are some point about the columnar body next one is pseudo stratified why it is called as pseudo stratified stratified that you know that is uh, squamous epithelial tissue is also called a stratified epithelial why it is called as pseudo stratified pseudo means false it means it just resemble like squamous but it's not this type of epithelium contain two types of cells pseudo stratified contain two types of cells that is one is one is longitudinal pillar like cells and second one is smaller triangular like cells the pillar like cells are broad on the free surface and narrow down toward the basement membrane okay in between the narrow end are present in the smaller triangular cells it means in between the two longitudinal cells there is a triangular shape small cells are present hence it is seem to be two layer but actually it was a single layer okay the location trachea trachea is also called as windpipe and bronchi and bronchus it means when trachea is divided into two branches that is called as bronchi and bronchi is divided into so many branches as a bronchioles okay its function is protective in nature okay next one is ciliated as it is named ciliated it means cilia are present you remember the diagram of paramecium on the surface of the paramecium there are so many hair like structure are present they are called as cilia and in inguglina a long structure or in sperm a long tail is present that is that is a flagella but here here it was cilia so cilia it come in this type of epithelium the cell may be cuboidal columnar or pseudo stratified okay on its surface on its surface in, in upon the surface there are so many hair like structure are present that is called as cilia they are only help in beating it means help in movement fast movement of substance location location it was present in nephron that is unit of kidney okay trachea of frog etc the functions the cilia by their beating is small is small structures any small gases liquid or any structure are move fastly okay so these are some different types of epithelial tissue on the basis of structure now come to the on the base of function that the sixth one is glandular as it is name glandular glandular means gland okay it means gland sec always secretes some chemical substance which are basically called as enzymes so this type of epithelial tissue this type of glandular epithelial tissue are always responsible for the secretion like chemicals or enzymes or whatever okay second one is sensory epithelial sensory means sensation sensation means stimulus as it is as like a fun like function as a neuron it capable for perceiving the stimulus it is found in all sensory organs it is found in this type sensory epithelium tissue are present in all sensory organs now next th next one is germinal epithelial tissue germinal germinal means germinate it means help in the germination so what did it will be germinate that is gonads produce gametes and its found lining of the gonads gametes that is male gamete and female gamete 
sperm and ova it is it was present on the lining of gonads it it means it was present on the lining of that is uh, male gamete and female gamete now the last one is pigmented pigmented as you already know in the first chapter that is chlorophyll is a pigment pigment is what it means it give color it means in our body if any color is present suppose that eyes color hair color so it is responsible for the pigmented epithelial tissue okay so it contain color it means pigment and is found the outer layer of retina of the eyes okay so these are nine types of epithelial tissue some of them are on the base of structure and some of them are on the base of functions now some questions regarding to this what is goblet cells goblet cells you have find it basically i will give the hint of that goblet cell that it was it was present in the columnar epithelial tissue and uh, pseudo stratified it was also present in pseudo stratified glandular also just think about the goblet cell what is epithelial tissue and its function you have to write it what is epithelial tissue made of name the substance which help in the formation of basement membrane which tissue involve which tissue evolve first in the animals so these are some five some questions